it is Mega V here and today's video is one that I'm quite excited to do because today I'm going to be talking about my experience reading the Transformers comics or the comics that everyone loves to read in the Transformers universe, MTMTE and the continuation of MTMT, The Lost Light. As of right now, I have two issues of The Lost Light left. <laughs> I have finally finished the last issue of, M of Lost Light and uh, I'm gonna miss these characters so much. I've been in the Transformers fandom for about eight years now. 2011 in June to now 2019. The comics came out in 2012, written by James Roberts, who is either a genius or one that likes to destroy our emotions. I'm gonna go with both. And for MTMT, which is more than meets the eye, there are about 52 issues. That's a lot of issues. The reason it took me so long to read More Than Meets the Eye was because I was more accustomed to Optimus, Bumble versus Tailgate, Swerve, Chrome Dome, Rewind. I had no idea who these characters were. I knew these guys, not these guys. The only Tailgate I knew about was when he was mentioned in Transformers Prime. To me, they were just in the comics. They didn't really fit into the live action, the TV show continuity, so I just was like, it wasn't until 2016 where it was talked about quite a bit amongst what I could see on the internet. I didn't know much about it. I've seen spoilers over the years. Like, like I knew that Rewind died. The biggest spoiler was Megatron had not a bot symbol on his chest. I don't think that's, I don't like that. The little things I think were some of the reasons that pushed me away from the Cyclonus thing, Megatron becoming an Autobot, and then the fact that there was not any Optimus and it wasn't like, it wasn't the characters that I knew. So I was kind of like, well, what was the point of reading it? I'm not gonna like these characters. It doesn't fit into the main aspect of Transformers. I'm just not gonna enjoy it. Oh, past Emily, you were so wrong. Damn, this good shit right here. Those are some of the reasons why I didn't pick up MTMT right away. You need to just pick it up. You know some spoilers. Everyone keeps mentioning these characters. Heck, I even had a toy of Rewind and Chrome Dome and Tailgate sitting on my shelf. I don't even know who the fuck these people were. I'm like, if I have action figures of them, why don't I know? Why haven't, why? Why? I shouldn't own figures of these guys if I don't know who they are. Like Oreo, who's a lovely Instagrammer, love you Oreo. She sent me a the, my first link to read MTMT online, which blessed her soul. Came to April, and finally, Nat Mechaguts, love her very much. She sent me another link, and I was like, I'm gonna do it. Or midway through April, April, I finally started issue one of MTMT, and if you go to my Instagram, which I will also link below, you can see on my highlights all of my thoughts and feelings on issues of MTMC 1 through 52, and then currently Lost Light, which is only 25 issues. So I finally have done it. I feel a big accomplishment in myself, not just for reading these, but now knowing these characters and finding myself loving these characters. I find myself loving Cyclonus and Megatron so much. And Megatron, who would have thought? Who would have thought? I have a poster of Optimus. Megatron so much. <laughs> James Robert is a master of, of something, I'll tell you. I'm to start and process it like this is the most heartfelt <laughs> edge of your seat, the most gruesome <laughs> Transformers. It's darker and gruesomer than Prime. Um, the first like two issues, the ship blows up. Do a quantum jump and a body gets stuck in a wall. Oh, great. That shit pipes and drift. Go to Del 5 and pipes gets infected and drift starts bleeding out of his eye. Poor oh, Lord steps and fucking crushes pipes, which I am not over. I am not over. Gets fucking dies. Like, what the anything Overlord does? Like, he is between him, Pharma, and Getaway. A single fictional character as much as I hate Getaway. Bitch, he got what he deserved in Lost Light. 
Thanks, world. Love you. I have never seen so much death, and James Roberts is not afraid to kill off characters. I, he was like, I don't care. He's your favorite. Oh, he dies. Oh, you love pipes? He's gonna get crushed. Oh, you love skids? Ha ha! Sorry! He dead! Does Ratchet have to be dead? <laughs> I know a lot of people have died. Rewind and Ratchet's death were the hardest because I've known Ratchet in other continuities since G1, especially Prime, and so it's hard. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. And poor Drift. Only canon Transformers continuity where they basically have two robots be gay. Like, I mean, I know they don't have a gender, but like, it's it's still gay. Rewind and Chrome Jump. Um, they say they love each other. Cyclonus and Tailgate finally say they love each other. <laughs> I was having my issues. The biggest issue I pointed out when I started reading MTMTE was that I was angry that there wasn't going to be any Optimus and there was going to be a lot of Megatron. In MTMTE and in the Dark Cybertron comics and do such a good job of showing that Megatron is angry at his past self. He feels guilt. He feels guilty for what he did for killing millions. And he has this beautiful line when he's talking to Ravage in MTMT where he's like, it's fine if everyone else thinks you, you are a monster. But when you start to see yourself as a monster, there's no going back from that. And I'm like, that's true. Everyone can think you're a monster around you and you're fine. But it's when you start to feel the guilt and you start to feel ugly and like a monster on the inside it's when you really have to look at yourself it's such a good job of making us believe that megatron is sorry for what he did he actually wants to be punished for what he did and it's it's so it's it's so well written i feel for this megatron like i love this version of Megatron. He feels sorry for what he did and he's trying to make up for it. Well, and I love it and it's so well done. I love Swerve very much. He has such cute little banter. And like, he's such, he's a fanboy of Blur, which I love. He has his own bar. <laughs> he's so good at making drinks. Ultra Magnus is such a stickler, he can't even say the word fun enough. Magnus finally says the F word. Not fuck, but fun. And it, it was in a perfect spot. And Rodimus is just... Don't stop bleeding! And then you have this band of Decepticons who aren't really that bad. They're just a bunch of scavengers. They want, they're happy the war is over. They're just... They're having a good time telling stories around a campfire. And Misfire! I love Misfire. Like, how can you not love him like look at this face how can you tell me you don't love misfire i love him he's great stumble upon grimlock in shockwave's ship him and misfire develop this beautiful friendship traveling around with them and it's so adorable the way they treat grimlock and make him feel like he's a part of this team and like him and Misfire's interaction and relationship is beautiful when i first met pipes i loved him he was Wonderful. I loved him very much. He's impulsive. He's a little scared at times, but then again, so do I. He wants to go on these adventures and explore the galaxy, which I think is so cute. He also really wants to find like a spark mate or like partner. And fun fact, James let it slip, let it slip that Pipes likes boats. And he's got a little crush on Riptide. Which I love it. I don't think Riptide feels the same way back or knows that Pipes has a crush on him, but I don't care. Pipes oogling over boats is my favorite fan art things to see on Tumblr. <laughs> I love him so much. He just wants to explore the world and do new things. And then he finally meets his end. King Overlord decides, hey. I'm gonna step on you because I'm a bitch, which he is. Uh, he should have never met his end like that, and yet he did. Speaking of pipes, there was a small section in one of the comics where they have like a movie theater night and Skids is eating Energon sticks and 
I laughed so hard when I saw that picture and I'm like, are you kidding me? How can you not love this? I'm so happy to finally get these jokes and get to know these characters that all these other people have known for years and here I was in the dark. I'm so happy that I now get to be a part of these characters' lives and understand why people love them so much, why so many people love Ultra Magnus in this continuity, why Nat loves Skid so much and Drift, why everyone loves Rewind and Chrome Dome. I know now! I'm gonna miss these characters so much. It's been a year since I started reading MTMTE and now I finished Lost Light. The last issue was so emotional. Tailgate and Cyclonus moved in together and they want to have Whirl move in with them and I love that conversation with Ultra Magnus and Ultra Magnus being like you are a good guy and then Megatron being like you are bigger without your suit and then the compassion that Rodimus feels for Megatron after everything that happened between them. It's it's so beautiful. I'm sad to see their journey end. So happy that I'm a part of these that I was a part of these characters' journeys. And now they are forever roaming the infinite universe, going on multiple journeys and they call their ship like a family and a home and it's just so sweet. I love you very much and I appreciate every single one of you because I wouldn't be here without you guys. So thank you so much. And just thank you to James Roberts and thank you to IDW for making this one of the best Transformers continuities on the planet. If you're in the Transformers fandom and you have not read MTMTE yet, head out of your ass and read it. It is so well, it, it, it is so well written. It is so worth your time. Trust me. These guys are so good. And I love them very much. I want to say a big thank you to Oreo, Nat, and all the other people who pushed me to read MTMT because I finally have. And I'm so grateful to all of you guys. And I'm so happy that I finally did to be part of this these characters' journeys. And I would have never known who the fuck Rewind, Chrome Dome, uh, Skids, Rung. I would have never known all these people. I would have never thought you could have redeemed Megatron without these comics, without you guys. So, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Love you guys. Bye.